Hello again, Chris Richter here from ricochet.com.au. I had a question recently about the equation editor in Moodle, and it was a bit of a puzzling one, because I hadn't thought about this either. But the question is, how do I put spaces inside the content in the equation editor? And I'll show you the example, what it means, how it works, and what the dilemma is, and then I'll show you how to solve it. The equation editor is quite simple to find. When you add some content into a page, you can uh, click on the extra arrow just here, and choose the equation editor. The equation editor lets you do things like adding these type of equations to your content. So for example, A over B plus C. So we've got a fraction. If you, for example, then had to put in the equals D as your solution, and you have you know, fill in all the numbers and everything so it actually makes sense. Down here you'll see A over B plus C equals D is the preview to show you what it looks like. Just by the way, that little down arrow there, that just shows you where the cursor is at the moment. So if I move the cursor to the front, it shows you the cursors there. Just a helpful thing to be able to find where the cursor is living at the moment. The dilemma is what if I wanted more space in here? So if I put two spaces or three spaces in, three spaces in and have a look, notice that it didn't change the equation view at all. It ignores those spaces. They mean absolutely nothing. So the dilemma is for somebody who's going to use this, if you had equals D and you wanted to put in there in meters as the actual result, you've got D and then meters right beside it. There's no space in there. It doesn't have any spacing at all. If I say this equation and I put some you know, extra spaces in there because we want to sort of separate the D from as to what the D actually means. If I now go and save and display, it still has D meters written right beside it, which just doesn't make sense. So let's go back into settings, go into edit and get rid of the D meters. And we'll just leave the space in there that we want. Let's jump back to our equation editor. So make sure the cursor is selected on the equation. Jump into the equation editor. It will reload that for us with all of our extra spaces that we put in. So let's just get rid of those because they're useless anyway. All we have to do is put in space if I get rid of that space, put in space, backslash space. And if we now put the cursor at the end and you have a look, you'll see there is now a space in there. So all it is is space, backslash space. And having the spaces either side of it is the way that it will separate or create that extra real space for you. So if we put in two of those, space slash space, it will now give us an extra space in there as well. So we should have one two spaces just there. I'll jump back to the one space. Remember, space, backslash space. Save the equation. And when we look at it now in our save and display, you'll see that we have that gap between D and meters, which is just much easier to read than having the number or the results squashed right up against what the value of that result is actually about. So there you go. Hopefully you found that useful. Really simple, easy little tip. Equation editor, adding spaces in, it, in Moodle, in the LMS. I'll catch you again in the next video.